are going to get back to actually oh. talking to you, Tara. So oh, what's that? I'm going to get your information right back up again. Mm -hmm. And then there we go. We could always find you at the glove drop on YouTube, Instagram, everything else. Mm -hmm. So uh, what started you playing hockey? Oh, boy. Well, I grew up with three brothers, so that kind of helped. But it's actually a funny story. Growing up three brothers, uh, you're very tough. You don't cry if you're hurt or you're sad or anything. But uh, as a kid, I was four years old and I'm aging myself. But I'm watching my dad's got the Stanley Cup on and the Rangers win. I didn't know what hockey was, but it was a very emotional experience uh, for a little kid. I'm watching. I see everybody going excited and the Rangers fans, my dad's yelling and then they pan over and I see the Canucks and they're big men kneel down and the tears are flowing. And I was so captivated by it that I had gotten tears in my eyes, whether it was because I felt bad for them, whatever. Uh, my older brother, my older brother, Devin, Tara's crying. And I <laughs> lost it. Flying up to my room, screaming, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. But I was so intrigued. It was such a core memory of seeing that, that as time went on, I started faking a tummy ache to stay up late and watch a game with my dad. If he had a game on, I'd be like, oh, I can't sleep. Uh, and from there, I started to play, um, which is fantastic. There's a lake right behind me. It's been frozen, playing on there. Uh, played a bit through school and uh, then turned out I was a much better runner. So I started focusing on running and did that through college, but finally got back on the ice about a year and a half ago. And I got to say, it's truly, truly the best thing in the world. And I am so grateful for hockey, the community. And even when I wasn't out on the ice play and just the bond shared between and the respect between players and fans, is it's something that you don't see in other sports. And I can say wholeheartedly that hockey is absolutely one of the single greatest, most genuine things left on earth for sure. So with that, I started up my YouTube channel. I, I wanted to be a sports broadcaster and at the time I was modeling and I saw Steve Dangle doing something. I was like, you know what? He almost likes the Leafs as much as I like the Rangers. Steve Dangle is great. So it, I was kind of inspired and, and it took a while, you know, it takes a while. You got to be, uh, learn how to do it all, but also learn how to be on the camera and be genuine. Cause if you're just reading something, nobody's going to, nobody wants a talking head. So I dug deep after a few months got a little bit more comfortable with it and and i went from there and it's been great and even though i'm a girl i have not received any in my opinion obstacle being in the world of hockey at all i don't know um this is just my own experience and and it's just been unbelievable do people comment on my videos and say things that you don't know you're talking do you retire well yeah for sure but it's in reference to a play it's because they disagree with my opinion so if you're mm -hmm. in my comments disagreeing with my opinion, that's great. That means you're hearing what I'm saying. And uh, eyes on you. That's yeah. That's that's the game, and that's how it is. And I love it. And I'm so excited to keep the content going. TikTok. Oh my gosh, TikTok is super fun. That's kind of the more light side of all of it. I'm not screaming and and trying to meditate through a Rangers game. In that, it's kind of <laughs> a little bit more the locker room <laughs> antics and the fun. Stress so levels at an all time high. Oh gosh, yes. Yeah. But yeah, we get some funny content. There's some silly stuff that happens at the ring, that's for sure. And when you head out to games and so it's just entertainment across the board, whether it's me freaking out or me really happy or me falling off the bench, whatever it is. It's the best and I love it. And uh I get to meet and, and talk with people like you. So can't beat it, right? No. You're right. You, you said you said it best. The hockey community is an awesome community. Hockey has given me so much. I grew up an only child. You grew up with three brothers. So, I, I did too. So, Terry, did you ever get three the brothers. Goldberg treatment from your brothers? Did I ever get the what? The Goldberg treatment from your brothers? Did they ever? Absolutely, just of them? course. But my youngest brother, uh, and for some reason, somebody pointed this out to me. Though. Why is it that the youngest sibling is always a goalie? I'm like, well, the youngest sibling is the one that you say, here, put all this on and we're going to shoot pucks at you. My youngest brother, he's a fantastic goalie. The guy is incredible. It helps that he's 6'2", off skates. But um, he is up at Fort Drum. He's in the military. So he's up in Fort Drum and he's working with kids 10 and under goalies. And every year, uh, and this time around, it's the first time I got both of my brothers out on the ice. We had a little family Christmas hockey game. He was in net. 
And now every time I show up at the rink, the board's like, where are your brothers? <laughs> Where's your brother? Because he was such a good goalie. And it was it was awesome. But uh, yeah, there's been a lot of stitches. Some from them, <laughs> some from just the guys I play with. It is what it is. The moneymaker. <laughs> worth it. That's awesome. Totally worth it. <laughs> That's awesome. So who, um, if you're... You know, life as a Ranger fan. Who's your your favorite player that's Mark played? Messier. Ranger? Mark Messier. That's a good choice. That one real quick. I'm number yes. eleven. Captain, yeah. I think his demeanor, and I mean the captain. He is the captain. It's one thing to have a a status in in that with Hank, but with Hank, uh, his his whole thing is he's taking care of what needs to be taken care of in the net. Something that I loved so much about him was his ability to bring the team together. But you. The goalie's got to be quiet. He's focused. He's dialed in. Uh, I love to see a player who's a real locker room guy, somebody who's really going to pull people up to their level. And and Messier is the epitome of that. He was such a glue guy, such the, the captain across the boards. Love him. Favorite. Yeah, Messier stuff, but been number 11 forever. So, Messier, if you're watching this, you're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> only one Certainly guy ahead of him for me, and that's Wayne Gretzky. That's it. Gretzky. The reason why I started playing. There he is. Uh, Brian Leach, Mike Gartner, and uh, Darren Turcott were my favorites when originally I started watching. What and about aging yourself? I know. Well, I, <laughs> I, 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 I can't help it. I just got to accept my age right there. But um, how pumped are you, though, in the next couple of weeks, being able to watch Team USA defend their gold medal that they won in Pyeongchang? It's, it's, I hate to say it like this, but there has been a little bit of the glory been kind of sucked out of the Olympics just with everything going on. We're not, it's not, it doesn't seem like the real experience. I do remember when the women won gold in 98. Yes. Uh, and that, that was crazy. the same year that Tara Lipinski was figure skating. And I remember a bunch of kids, I was in second or third grade at the time, were like, I was so angry that her name was Tara because I didn't want to be a figure skater. And everybody was like, oh, like Tara Lubisky. I'm like, no, but these, the hockey. <laughs> but uh, I think it's going to be great. I think the women's hockey programs too have gotten crazy. I'm excited to see who actually does show up for uh, Team USA on the men's side. I know a few people are holding back, right? Yeah. Yeah. I thought they actually asked Anthony to play, but I wasn't sure. I think they might have asked yeah, me. I, I think they yeah. did. I, oh, I yeah, you're busy at the All Star game, though, right? So, so let let's just let's just throw this out there. Who does the who does the little leg kick, backhand, forehand move better, Zuccarello or Jocelyn Lamaru? Because Jocelyn Lamaru's is just absolutely filthy. Some of these girls got quick hands. Now, this is coming from a girl whose edges are shot dot com. But these <laughs> they come in and and they are going circles. It's it's a different. It's a tech. It's a little bit of a different game. You got to have hands if you can't really be throwing your whole body around. That's so true. it's amazing. But let's go real here. The leg kick. That's a Panarin move, all day every day. I want to see him do it before he scores next time. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a different leg kick, but yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. that. That's definitely Panarin's thing. My move oh, is Messier. the Messier Austin did Matthews. the leg kick plenty. Oh yeah, the Austin Matthews toe drag before the wrister to change the direction of the shot. Now, mind you, my shot, I don't even know where it's going at all to begin with, but the toe drag puts a little more power behind it. So I just say, I'm like, yeah, I'm really good at this Austin Matthews toe drag wrister quick off, like change the direction of the shot. I intended to do that, no, but it works. I don't know how he just gets so much on that in such a short span of time. It's, it's almost like physics defying, it really, it is. And he learned that in Arizona. I know. What no, a homecoming California. for him, though. What a homecoming in Arizona. Big loss of the Yotes. Oof. Stings. <laughs> Guy can't have it all. He can't have it all. No. And, yeah, that they're, they're another story. I don't even know what's going to happen with them. They want to play in a, what, a 5,000-person arena, to, like, for the next two, three years? Are you kidding? I, I, I don't figure it out. I don't understand that one. It no, is great to no, see how much and it's grown, hopefully though. they'll find a way to keep them in Arizona because I know the NHL would prefer to keep them there. Mm -hmm. um, the growth in Florida and California has been tremendous too. So we'll see. Hopefully we can get the uh, Southwest to 
kind of rally up behind it too. But I'm now that really Vegas, nice. is, Vegas has got a <laughs> fan base and a half. That's yep. for sure. They could stay. Yeah. I'll take Reeves though. Thanks. And I'm happy to say that the, in Florida, one of my old teammates, a uh, friend of mine, Timmy Kierkostas, is helping to grow the game out there because he used to coach Shane Gostaspear. Oh, no way. And, yeah, I think a couple other guys Oops. too. They're in the league. Union College. Yeah. Yeah, Union, Union College. College. Yeah, yeah they, they, they beat uh, – was it them or was it Providence that beat Boston uh, Boston U in uh, the 2015 game and, and uh, denied Jack Eichel and, and former Ranger coach, thankfully former, David Quinn. <laughs> yeah, that was a hot <laughs> second, quick little – he did his best. I don't know, man. I'm a Penn State girl. I went to Penn State. I had to play. I played on the hockey team for a week because two girls were out injured and one was out at university games. Like I must have. I swear, warm ups. I was already gagged. I was dying, dying. But Big Ten <laughs> hockey all day. Let's go. Sit down, boss. Damn right, Big Ten. Yes. Michigan fan for me. I can't but, say anything. Yeah. I have a North Dakota Sioux jersey. Yucky. Oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> no, that one's dope. Michigan, sit down. Unless you're already sitting. <laughs> All right. All right. So let me get you out with this one question. Uh, do you ever have people underestimate you on the ice because they go, oh, it's a girl? Well, like I said, I just got back recently playing. Um, so there have been a few times where I'll be playing and I'll notice that the D will back off or they'll just let me kind of go. And then I lose my mind. I scream at them. I'm like, I swear if one more person stop, I, I'll go off on them. Um, I think with my presence in the beginning, uh, they were a little bit nicer and stuff, but after two days playing with them, they kind of recognized my personality and they, the chirps are flying and uh, I can see it being incredibly intimidating. Um, what, you know, walking in, especially not knowing, not knowing anybody. So I walk in, 20 dudes there and, and I don't know any of them and they're all pretty good and I haven't skated in 16 years so at first it was a little intimidating and they, but they were all incredibly helpful why they were helpful I don't know maybe somebody's trying to get a date or something but very helpful now Ooh. now it's just a, <laughs> now I'm just getting chirped at and they know if somebody's goes easy on me it's it's I'm going to take the puck from them pretty good at stripping the puck if I see somebody slow it down but it's great. Like, like the, the people that I play with, they, they want you to be there. They want you to be there and they will make comments. I mean, Oh my God, you did great. Or your skating's getting so much better. Or, you know, your shot got a lot better they're, they're, and they want to work with you and want to help you. And it's like our own little family of 20 people, ages 19 to 55. <laughs> <laughs> but again, the only girl, but the, I mean, if you, if you look at my Instagram stories today, there's some stuff from uh, lunch hockey and, the the friendships that you make are amazing. Yeah, you I just want to see everybody have a good time. From, uh, Twitter. Yeah, my yeah, Zuki that. that was pretty cool. <laughs> that, I didn't yeah, do yeah, it on you, purpose. You, just, you, you, what, what do you think your Nika's advantage at over here with your jersey tuck? It just tucks itself in. I can't help it. It's because my pants are women's. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start calling you Scott Gomez. You put more of a jersey tuck than that. Scotty Gomez. Oh, another Rangers legend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? He's a Rangers legend, but he ended up getting us Ryan McDonough. Oh, I don't want to talk about that guy. Can't say anything <laughs> about that. Miss him. Can't say a bad word about Ryan McDonough ever. He's the man. I did, I did, however, get saying. some. I did get some tickets for my birthday, though, for a couple of Rangers games. I'm going with my dad to see them take on Boston, who Brad Marchand, you little rat. That's going to be a great game. And then Rangers Islanders in the. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. So hopefully this time around, we all remember the St. Patrick's Day massacre of last year. Rangers beating the Flyers 9-0, just mopping the entire MSG arena with them. That was unbelievable. So hopefully this time around will be the same same deal, except with the Islanders. Well, I know the man down in the adjacent box from you would prefer that not to happen. But uh, we were actually <laughs> supposed to have our first ever bar meet up on on. Uh, the day of that game is canceled, and they decided, "Hey, let's put it on St. Patrick's Day," because you know bars need <laughs> oh yeah people on St. Patrick's Day. Oh. Right. <laughs> All right, Tara, it was great to have you. Uh, Thank you so much. It was yeah. awesome to be here. Yeah, we'd love Thank to you. go on and help you out and 
go get you there. So, so if you want any of us on, yeah, probably, absolutely. Probably this guy over here. You take him. Like right, top right. I have that guy. Wait, that guy. There it is. <laughs> the hard part is where sure I'm mirrored, so I don't even know which way I'm pointing sometimes. <laughs> so I'm doing my. This is how well I shoot the puck that way. Yeah, but we'd love to have you back anytime. So thank absolutely, you. thanks again. This was awesome. What a fun, what a fun way to wind down the day. There you go. All right, everybody enjoy All Star Break. Best of luck with everything, and um, come to lunch hockey. Let's do it. Absolutely. Sounds Hell good yeah. To me. I'll see you on the ice. I'll All see you right. out there, guys. Bye, Tom. Bye. Care, Tom. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.